Yeah. This is Ampesie and Kontume for here in Ghana. They call it Abom. Abom? Abom. Abom. Yeah. So she's gonna try this. I want to eat some Abom. Yeah, I know she will love it. Ah, so wash your hand. Mm hmm You don't have to worry about that. Yeah. That's the local way of, of eating. You wash your hands. Yeah, you wash your hand first. You wash your hand first. Yeah. That's the ball. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna try this. What is this? Sir? I'm speaking I'm speaking the local language. Oh yeah, you come Kasa. Ghana. Say I call my village, eh? My typical village in Cape Coast. This is what you see. You hold this akonja. You find it ijadi egwa, ijadi egwa. This one. Then you see uh, asanka. Upon upon them ya ine kwasa no. Let me name the ya na wadi sevi ya papa na ya mama na mna ya na 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 mo. Now if you come to this modern lodge. With this beautiful structure, and they are still having this year, meaning Ghana is going far. Let's go to the main kitchen. What do you probably say? Abua. Oh, Kutuna, you don't so good, you're the calabash, you're the sun. There's it. Yes, a core. You're typical village now. If you visit our typical village, you see this in there. They will put water inside. Have you seen it? They will put water in. Then this will be on it. If you want to drink water, you need to go and open it. Then fetch for yourself. Yeah, then. At this modern age, you'll be seeing banner with cylinder, microwave, and other stuff. But in our typical Ghanaian village, when you go, you see something like this. They call it fire, firewood. This is what they put in. Have you seen this? This is our pot. They used to cook. And then this is our that is saying. Yes. And you can see they have all this here. Yes, this is what I was mentioning. This is what we prepare our stew in. And you can see you have a wudu. This is what mortar. This is what you use to palm out fufu. And this place look so beautiful. Trust me. You see this thing here. This thing here. They call it apa, apa. When you go to our villages, our mothers and Fathers will be doing this. Do you know the reason behind it? You see that there is a maize on it. So uh, every year when they harvest maize like this, they will come and put, arrange the maize on it so that they will prevent it from being spot or being. So the heat. That will come through after cooking. Will sustain this maize for getting spots. So that's the main reason why they put the maize on this upper. And you can see the content here. This is what you use to carry the maize from the farm. And stay tuned. We are getting to this modern kitchen lifestyle. You understand? As you can see, my mommy there. She's busy cooking. You can see this. This is our modern kitchen. So, one lodge has these two beautiful kitchen together. If you want to use the local kitchen, if you want to, if you want to get a local food to eat, they will prepare that local kitchen. If you want to use this modern food like core fried rice, 
jollof rice, chicken burger, sausage, and other stuff. Then mommy will get his time. Make sure he come here and prepare a nice food for you too. You can see. Guess what? The rough rice is on fire. Yes. This is a crossing lodge for you. They have a very beautiful historic kitchen. They, as usual, they have their freezer around. Making sure they keep everything fresh. Their fridge and everything is here. So, stay tuned. Let you can see written on it. Mind the stairs. Mind your head. So, you are climbing. You are climbing to see what is there. Yes, you can, you can see how the steak is look like. I just can't. Yes, cut them. See how the place look like. So after your dish is well prepared and cooked, you have to get a, your seat and they will come and serve you. And you can see how the place has been arranged. This is a, a rooftop. You have something made locally. It can turn around. Yes. And you can see how the seats look like. Let me give you the ceiling. So, so just get a view of how the place is. So I'm on top of the kitchen right now. And this is the view. Pardon me, I think because of the night mood, my camera is not getting it well, but you can see what I'm really talking about. They are bringing my food. So stay tuned as we enjoy together. But I'll say this, if you are coming to Ghana, and you want to stay a day or two in a current its environment, I will prescribe a crossing lodge for you to go and have this experience. You can go there and experience the local life and this our uh, modern life. Then when you come out to stay or repatriate to Ghana, you know how the life is here in the motherland so stay tuned as i'm waiting for my food here so that you enjoy together peace up yeah this is ampecier and contour for here in ghana we call it abom 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 yeah so she gonna try this i want to eat some abom yeah i know she will love it ah, so wash your hand mm -hmm. you don't have to worry about that yeah that's the local way of, of eating. You wash your hands. Yeah, you wash your hand first. You wash your hand first. Yeah. That's the ball. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're gonna try this. You're not eating. I am. I had a emergency at work, mm -hmm. so I have to make sure. How is it? Good. Good. I like it. Ah. I'm gonna eat some onions. I'm yeah. Onions. I think there's garlic too. So this one is made with Kobe. What's Kobe? Uh, tilapia, sorted tilapia, <clears throat> dried one. Oh, I taste it. Yeah. Then contumbre. 
with onion, with some small fresh tomatoes. Oh, we need we need drink. We need drink. We want to want to drink. Yeah. Yeah, I'll call them. They will bring you a drink. Very good. Very it's good. Very tasty. Yeah. I love them. I so, taste a salty fish. I love salty fish. Yeah, this is a salty fish. This one. Yeah. But what is this? Oh, I think that one too. A salty fish? I think that, that one. No, this one is. Th this one is tilapia. I know, but what's this right here? This one is contumbri. Contumbri? Yeah. And they grind it. Oh. Yeah. My first time having this. Yeah, it's good. So try. Very nice. Taking the bones out. Very necessary. Um. Mm. <laughs> mm. Well, Steven. Mm. Yeah, but the woman too did the work. Mm. She did very well. The food is good. Yeah. All right, so you're gonna eat. So we we'll get back to you later. Eh? <laughs>